to $5 billion is what we're understanding. It's all according to people familiar with the situation. We know at the moment J. Crew is owned by private equity. J. TPG Capital and Leonard Green, they could be looking to sell out, or indeed we could see the company looking to sell shares. But one person, one company eyeing up this eyeing up J. Crew is indeed fast retailing, owned by billionaire Tad Tadashi Yana. Now, Appeal is really to try and get a different kind of buyer. We know that they, fast retailing owns Uniqlo. Its origins are in rather cheap retailing. We know it for the polar necks, for the, for the jumpers that they offer at very good kind of prices. But to try and expand, to become the world's biggest retailer, so is their ambition. It's about getting more aspirational buyers. And J. Crew ticks those boxes. You've got aspirational young shoppers going to J. Crew. You've got wealthy as well. Michelle Obama, the first lady of the United States, has really brought it up in, in the viewership there. And already we've got fast retailing owning J. Brand. That's pretty expensive jeans and also theory so by acquisitions they're trying to play to a different area trying to get designing power from other brands and this is because in Japan there's there's certain limits on expansion aren't there there are so Japan they're already the biggest player in Asia they need to look overseas and this is where the ambition is just enormous coming from fast retailing they aim by 2020 to quadruple sales they want the United States to make up about a fifth so 20 percent overseas sales they want to actually be in excess of domestic Japanese sales. Already, they have more than 500 stores abroad. They want to expand that by 300 a year, Mark. 300 a year, this is phenomenal. Therefore, they're getting more glitzy. They're on Fifth Avenue in New York. They're in Shanghai. They're hiring executives from abroad. They've got it from GC Couture. They're also, though, weighing acquisitions. So, as I say, Tadashi Yana, he's Japan's richest man, grew this from his own father's roadside and men's store, mm -hmm. it's going to be a juggernaut.